area of storms there and just to the west of Bunston here and north of Otterville. We've got an area of storms that does have the capability of producing some of that P to dime sized hail. Latest reports that we have seen right now 1700 block of uh, Canyon Creek Road in Columbia. There's a creek there that is approaching an apartment complex and another report. Raymer Road and West Obermiller Road in North Columbia has several feet of water over that intersection. So uh, if you are in the Columbia area, especially I would avoid any sort of travel here over the next couple of hours. Let these uh, fl flash flood waters recede a little bit. And even though this is ra radar estimated, which can be just a little bit overdone, it's uh, still pretty significant around the Marshall area. Uh, radar estimating 11.4 inches of rain. That is intense when it comes to rainfall totals around Columbia. Radar is estimating around six inches of rainfall. So this is a, a situation to definitely take seriously and heed these flash flood warnings this morning and just make sure that if you come across any sort of flooded roadway, do not drive through it. We've had several reports of cars being swept off roadways because they're trying to get through some of this flood water. It is just not a good idea at all. So please keep that in mind this morning. Your safety is the number one priority. Round two still has the potential to develop between three and eight o'clock. And we're going to continue to monitor conditions for winds 70 to 80 miles per hour. And that would uh, certainly be damaging wind gusts, quarter size hail, localized flash flooding issues because we're going to get some torrential rain with some of these storms. They'll be very efficient rainfall producers. And then also a uh, brief tornado is going to be possible today too. So we've still got all modes of severe weather that are in play today. So make sure you've got a way to receive warnings. I think if the cold front continues to move the way it is, we could see it. Uh, I think future cast is doing a pretty good job here showing this line of thunderstorms and a pretty uh, intense line of thunderstorms at that again when you uh, again a thunderstorm complex that looks like this. That's when it produces those strong wind gusts upwards of 50 55 maybe even up to 60 miles per hour. So going to be watching this very closely as that would be severe wind gusts at that uh, point in time. I'll talk about that in future cast here in just a moment as I've got some sort of bug flying at me. Is that a wasp? That is a wasp. Wow, even with a cold front that has moved through. Oh my gosh, what is that? Is that a crane fly? I think that's a crane fly that just landed behind me. Oh, well, I had one of those in my apartment yesterday, and I tell you what, those things are big, even though they're harmless. That still scared me. Wow. A cold front is uh, pretty insignificant. Good, good amount of sunshine out there, and that sunshine going to stick around as we head over. Oh, oh my. That was a humongous bug, and I'm glad I didn't stick around for it. I'm not going to lie. Whew, that scared me just a little bit. The blood flowing. You're going to see Joe flopping his arms in there in the <laughs> Give it a good forecast flop. Yeah, there you go. Flop away. <laughs> I feel more like him. Yeah, well, good. He's That's... sweating now. <laughs> Thank goodness, because I don't think any of us are going to carry Joe to the Gulf of Mexico and dump him in there if he starts flopping. More live at sunrise. While you think about that, Feel free to it like a different kind of story. <laughs> and yes, the women's ball is slightly smaller. Oh, the half, half there ounce you go. Off. Here's All right, my you drawing. Close enough. Well, what does your well, drawing look like? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that I was like a that. tennis ball at first, and right. then I All remembered right. the basketball. Tony, Joe, Joe is going to attempt this. We're going to see if we can. Is that good, Joe? You got enough room there? Woo! I hate to put him on the scene, it's but awesome. Joe's making some really cool eagle noises during the commercial break. Come on, Joe, give it to us. You can you do anything for us, Joe? <laughs> Come on. We only got like it's 30 seconds left. It's oh. too high pitched. It's too high pitched. You can do it. Come on. <laughs> yes. Happy yes. Friday, that everyone. Doesn't make your Friday. I don't know what will. Something that uh, hasn't been as great. All of uh, your sports highlights. Mm -hmm. A lot of people doing backflips, and I'm. Like, I know. And I'm like. I can cartwheel. <laughs> I can, can you? Yeah. I can cartwheel. Is there like visual evidence of that? There's video evidence somewhere, right? There's not. And if there's we'll not, have we have, something. you know, some show left. You can probably entertain us. We're not us. done until 7 o'clock. So, hey, you know what? You've got some time. I am in a suit. You too. I don't.
joining us uh, late on this Saturday night after the Alabama Georgia football game. Let's get a look at your forecast and what we can expect for the rest of the weekend. Now today we ended up seeing the 70s and we got to the mid 70s for some locations, especially farther west that you were. So daily reaching 75 degrees today. That was the warm spot across mid Missouri and it was uh, also very breezy. Now it was really because of the southerly winds and the sunshine that we had that helped bring in those warmer temperatures. We had wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour, 40 miles per hour, strongest wind gusts in Rolla, 45 miles per hour in Sedalia. So it was breezy no matter where you were in mid Missouri. It's much less breezy now and we're not looking at a breezy day tomorrow, but tomorrow is not going to be near as dry as we were today. Riley Auto Group Skycam in Columbia. Things are looking good again. If you are uh, taking a step outside for any reason whatsoever late on this Saturday night. Things are going to be just fine. Maybe you got to let the dogs out one last time. It's going to feel pretty good as you step out there and we're still pretty mild and we've got cloud cover that has really increased uh, over the last couple of hours. And yes, you are seeing this correctly. Parts of Nebraska are getting snow and that's all behind the cold front and that it has some cooler air. Of course, it's cold air that is up in parts of Nebraska for us. It's going to be moving in it is cooler. Air. It's not going to be that cold. It's not going to support any sort of freezing precipitation, but we are looking at rain chances as we head throughout tomorrow. So you see temperatures have been being in those low 50s throughout the first portion of the day and then in the afternoon. We could be seeing just the upper 40s. That's that cold front that's going to be filtering in that cool air, and that's why we are going to be so much cooler tomorrow compared to where we got to today. Of course, with the 70s and you see with this, uh, the wind still going to be a little bit breezy, but it's going to be out of the north northeast, not out of the south. And again, that is thanks to that cold front. So here's a look at future cast. Now, as we get into the afternoon, south of Highway 50, this is when we're going to start to see a few of these light rain showers. It's looking to be off and on as we uh, head throughout the afternoon and evening. Now, future cast is not extending these farther to the north. I think we're going to see this stretch upwards to Interstate 70 and maybe across northeastern portions of mid Missouri throughout Audrain and Montgomery County. I think we could see a few of these showers, but it is looking to be kind of off and on as we head throughout most of the day. And especially especially in the latter half of the day tomorrow in that cooler air. Of course, around at 55 degrees, we may hit that high temperature tomorrow pretty early on in the day, not so much in the afternoon and then 52 degrees on Monday, staying on the cool side. But you see, as we get into next week, a gradual warming up to the upper 70s on Thursday, but the uncertainty that comes with next week is going to be the rain chances. Now we're going to have several upper level disturbances moving across our area, but the uncertainty comes with just how much coverage of rain that we will see. We've got chances for light rainfall through most of next week, and then again on Friday as it looks to be another strong cold front that'll be moving through, but that's something that we're going to watch for. Now it's been so dry over the last 30 to 40 days, so we could actually use at least just a little bit of some rainfall. But for the time being, we're going to go with just very slight chances for rain aside from tomorrow when it looks to be a little bit more widespread, especially late in the day. So temperatures aren't going through major swings in just a day or two. It's going to be kind of gradual before we see another cool down late in the forecast.